So a storyline was uh, talked today on ESPN. Uh, the Jump, the t the show The Jump, and they were talking about how is this upcoming season the best season for LeBron James to get a MVP? Is the is it the best shot at getting MVP? And that's just like the most ridiculous question. Um, because he he gets an he should get uh the MVP for the last like ten years, eight ten years. Uh, he should have got it when uh Derrick Rose got MVP. He should have got it last year, even though Russell Westbrook uh got a triple double. Um, he um he had I believe last year career numbers in uh. In uh, assists and rebounds, uh, but uh, they never give him the MVP because of whatever reason. Because uh, writers and such or whoever votes, they want to make it like fair that LeBron doesn't get this many MVPs and this many accomplishments in his career though he will get more and more uh different accomplishments uh he's going to be you know uh high high in the NBA uh records in uh points, rebounds, assists and all of that stuff um but yeah like that that um that is uh just what I wanted to say about LeBron getting uh supposedly his best shot at MVP is this season this upcoming season but it he has been getting you know MVP numbers and dominating the game you know the most valuable player when he gets off the bench the the team just suffers you know especially last year and years before this season they have a they have a better bench better team um Dwayne Wade is joining um Isaiah Thomas should be back uh January uh but should be a good good team with a better bench and that will uh benefit LeBron James. Uh, but yeah, those are my thoughts.